Good evening and welcome to another and very unique edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. He's Mike Fenner. And Mike, what was supposed to be a fun and exciting night of NCAA Division II college basketball arenas across the country and here at home, sit empty. Mercier's men's basketball team was slated to play at West Liberty and face Charleston in the opening round of the Division II men's college basketball tournament. Meanwhile, Gannon University was slated to host the first two rounds of the women's basketball tournament, but instead, the hammer mill sits quiet. The PSAC champion Lady Knights were scheduled to face California in the opening round, but because of the COVID-19 virus, all games have been canceled. For all the athletic directors around our region, the news of canceling winter and spring athletics is difficult, but was the proper thing to do over the last 24 to 36 hours. It's difficult. Obviously, we support the PSAC's board of directors' decision because at the forefront, it's the health and well-being of our student athletes. But I mean, it's it's difficult. However, we're resilient and we're here to support our student athletes and our coaches and administrators at this time. Every school and every conference has something different going on. That we have some league, some schools in our league that are completely closed, and some that are in potential danger zones. And we have to think for the better of the entire conference right now. And right now, Mercy is a safe place, but many of the schools that we're playing, you, you wouldn't be going to safe areas, and you'd be bringing outside guests to our campus, and that's just. They're, that's not appropriate right now. The coaches and the and the student athletes, they get it, uh, and they're you know certainly worried about the health and safety of everybody as well. So um, disappointing, but also uh, understandable, I guess. Short term, we'll get together with our coaches next week and plan out what we're going to do the next three weeks that we're closed. Uh, by April 6th, we'll see whether or not the college opens and whether or not we bring our student athletes back. You know, you always like to finish the year out with seniors having a senior day for them, and we'll have to figure out what we have there. But we'll do some planning and, and just wait and see. It's a, one of those wait and see things. For some area athletes and coaches, it means a championship run or a postseason cut short. For others, it's the cancellation of an entire spring season or the majority of one. For everyone, it's a tough piece of news with the sports world coming to a halt. Still really hard to believe that it's, it's this is actually happening. Um, but, um, you know, my mindset the whole time is just try to be there for our student athletes. Um, you know, just try to comfort them. It's disappointing, but the, at the same time, I think it's respectful for pe people with pre existing conditions, the elderly, and you got to do what's best for everybody as opposed to just yourself. And we couldn't ask for more of what my staff and players accomplished, but, you know, when it comes to real world events and people's lives, obviously. Obviously that's way more important than a hockey game. It was really hard for me yesterday, but today I'm trying to take it day by day and just enjoy the day and kind of enjoy the time that I'm going to be able to spend with my teammates because it's not like I don't know if I'll get to see them the rest of the semester. We were ready, we were hungry, we were waiting to, to go on that run again and the fact that we can't even uh, attempt to do something like that again, it, de it definitely sucks and it's disappointing. The unknown is it's what will kill us honestly, but um, yeah we had a lot of potential and I think we really could have won that game so I think uh, that's what really hurts. We were ready to play and but obviously we understand the reason behind this and we respect the decision. At the high school level, the McDowell boys basketball team continues to wait for what they hope is their first PIAA Elite Eight appearance since 2000. The Trojans game against Butler was set for Saturday, but with the postponements across the state set for a minimum of two weeks, head coach Kevin O'Connor and his group are making the best out of a very tough situation. It's definitely mentally it's a challenge uh, to keep these guys engaged. Uh, certainly we want to play and we want to practice like we're getting ready to play. Just the fact that it's in flux and not kind of we don't have any answer is a little frustrating, but uh, I'm still going to remain hopeful that something uh, miraculous is going to happen. At this point, it's just really anxious, really upsetting, uh, and I really don't know what to think of it. Like I said, my head is cloudy. And if this all comes to an end right now, I'm really happy with my time here and I'm really happy with what we could do this season, but I'm very upset about how we couldn't continue. Positive vibes and we got to stay mentally and physically in shape for the game because we believe that we will be playing in two weeks.